So last week was just a really rough week for me animal wise and I wouldn't feel right like doing this unboxing without giving you guys the context of what happened and what's been going on. So first on Monday, as a lot of you already know because I announced it on Instagram, my hamster Iggy passed away. Now she was a little over two years old. I had her for the entirety of her life. Over the weekend I noticed that she was stumbling around a little bit and she kind of developed this like neurological thing where she wasn't really balanced very well and keeping rodents before I am familiar with their aging process and how typically at the end of their lives uh, a lot of times they'll develop some neurological issues before I could even call the vet on Monday she passed away that happened and I buried her and that was a very emotional <laughs> thing to happen because you know she was my buddy she was a mammal we bonded even though I didn't really share her much on my channel I did want to mention that to you guys so unfortunately that had happened and then on I think it was like Wednesday ish I was cleaning the frogs and stuff and I noticed that trippy toads water dish it was like pretty dirty you know he he got it really dirty because he'd obviously drag his dirt in and out of it I've had trippy toad for over a year I got him as a captive bred juvenile he was a pretty large juvenile so Wednesday I was like doing some frog maintenance and I noticed his dish was very dirty I also had some rocks in his water dish I put them in there because he was not the most mobile like I'm not really sure if something was wrong with him like when I got him he was pretty normal but I noticed there was just like weird mobility things that he had developed like throughout keeping him he grew normally he gained his weight that he should I rarely saw him eat though which would make me really nervous because typically they have really big appetites and when I first got him he would eat like five superworms a day and he grew like super fast feeding him that much but yeah I noticed he stopped really eating very frequently I would catch him ignoring crickets and superworms and stuff I tried roaches I switched it up and I would see him eat a little bit here and there but he wasn't getting Thin, so it wasn't that concerning to me but yeah it was just weird I wouldn't really see him catch prey I wouldn't really see him hunt he was very clumsy I guess you could like describe it he was a clumsy big toad and so I put rocks in his water dish because I gave him a really big water dish I had upgraded it I got him a deeper one as he grew and when I first got the deeper water dish I thought well maybe it's a little too deep for him he is a little bit of a clumsy toad so I put some aquarium rocks in the dish seemed like he was doing okay but as he grew I knew noticed that the rocks were taking up a lot of space in the dish and when I was cleaning his water the other day I noticed that the rocks took up like half the water dish depth so it was like this much rocks and this much water and with the amount of water I just felt like he couldn't really submerge his whole body in anymore because he had grown so much and the rocks were already dirty and just like had been in his dish you know I had rinsed them off so many times but they they just kind of looked gross and I thought whatever I'll remove the rocks and I'll replace them if he needs them but honestly he had grown so much he could easily touch the the bottom I didn't think too much of it but I did you know make sure that you know his head was above water when I would walk by on Thursday and he was just sitting in his water dish all day on Thursday I knew he was shedding because on Wednesday when I had pulled him out he had some shed on him so like usually he'll shed in the water dish and yeah I didn't think too much of it but I was thinking of going and getting like some more rocks to put in the water dish just if he wasn't able to get out himself so anyway all day Thursday he's just sitting in his water dish I assume he's shedding I don't see him get out of the dish all day but that's not too terribly abnormal and then Friday I went to check on him and his head was underwater and um, I saw what I thought at first was mold which I thought whoa whoa like how, how did he like die and mold immediately and, and then I like realized he had actually released his um, bufotoxin in the water so the bufotoxin was like floating and he was underwater and so all I can really think is that maybe his like weird mobility issues maybe he really couldn't get out of the dish like I said he he was tall enough but I, I just feel like it doesn't really add up or make sense. So anyway, uh, when I found him Friday, I was so upset, um, really upset. It, it was like I already cried so much Monday for Iggy and then suddenly Trippy, who's like another very notable animal, one that I share a lot and, you know, wanted really bad. This is literally something that I have looked for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It took me months and months to find a smooth-sided toad. Like I really wanted one and they, they for some reason, they're just so difficult to find especially captive bred and he was captive bred and that that is important to me for especially amphibians it took some time to find him he was an animal I prepared for meticulously I set up you know a quarantine bin 
a bigger enclosure and then a different even larger adult enclosure for him and everything so I was just like super devastated on Friday and I honestly had no intention of bringing it up for a while just because I was like so upset I didn't really want to talk about it you know I told a couple close friends cried on a few FaceTimes I feel like I'm ready to talk about it and share it and I feel like I have to because today we are doing another smooth sided toad unboxing and I didn't want to like not mention the context of what happened before like like I didn't want to just like unbox these new toads and like not give you guys the background on what had happened. To be honest, this is a species of toad that I can't see myself not owning. I always want to keep the species of toad. It's my favorite species of toad. That brings us to this. Now it's time for our Bowser break. If you didn't know, smooth sided toads can actually be housed in groups. I got two. <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten more, but it'd be more difficult to compensate like that much space for more than two because they already grow really large and they grow pretty fast. So I only got two. I would have liked to have gotten more to keep in a bigger group, but two's still good. And yeah, so they're here. They just arrived this morning. Uh, again, they're from Josh's Frogs, just like Trippy was. I know that they still have a lot available. I paid for these myself. This is not a collaborating thing. I, I really just ordered them and everything. They don't know any of this, but we have a special guest to help me unbox today. Hi. Mr. Tarantula Cat. I'm using this bin, which I actually made this bin when I first got Trippy Toad. And then when Trippy Toad showed up, he was huge. So I had to upgrade him pretty quickly. I'm not really sure what size these smooth sided toads are. I think they might be about the same size, hopefully smaller. But yeah, so I'm just gonna use this with dirt, cork, and I have a water dish. And again, I don't know what size they are or anything like that. So I did get some rocks to go ahead and help, help that. Like I do, I don't know. We we have more in there. We do, we have more. Yeah. I think this will be fine. But now I'm very paranoid, so you know, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna get them lots of substrate though, because they do like to burrow a little. That should be pretty good, right? They little frogs. Yeah, well, I don't know how little though. I'm just gonna put this water dish in the middle, and then I just have this piece of cork. Let's do this. Yeah. I need a glove. I don't know why, but unboxing like reptiles and amphibians and stuff makes me way more nervous because I'm always, I just feel like they're not as comfortable in shipping as. Well, I, I think it's probably, it may, may be like more sensorily aware. It's... Oh cool, they put a cool pack in there. Jelly. <gasps> they're little guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Gosh, what yeah, are these? You definitely need a different dish. What are these? Oh my god. What are those? Dude, Trippy was like already like as big as my hand when I unboxed him. These things are so little. Oh god, I'm so nervous now. They're babies. Oh my god. Okay. I just I, I know. We'll have to do a, a smaller water dish, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't even know. I don't even know, gosh. I feel like I should have bought more than just two now. Let me put on some gloves, just... Yeah, but if you got more than two, like, when they get big, are they cohabitable? Yeah, they're staying together. Okay. Well, I meant, like, if you had, like, a more than two. I wish I just got, like, one more. Just one more, because... Three's not always company. Sometimes no. three's a crowd. Hi. <gasps> 
Oh no! Wait, come back! Here, I'm gonna take this out too for now. Oh, oh, come here. Can I hold you? Oh my god. No, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm friend. I'm friend. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> he don't know that yet. He's so like jumpy. <laughs> come here. This is not what I expected at all. So this one, I don't know how I'm gonna tell them apart yet, but I'm gonna name one of them Puddles and one of them Rattle, like the Animal Crossing characters, the frog Animal Crossing characters. I don't know, I was looking at different frog Animal Crossing characters' names and I just liked those the best. A little smaller. <gasps> yep. Gosh. Well, one has a lot lighter legs and a lighter color it looks like. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that one's Puddles. This one is going to be Rattle because look at its little um, mark on its head. I'll remember. I didn't, I cannot believe that smooth-sided toads start off so small like this. I'm really actually happy that I ordered these. I was conflicted like doing it so soon, but like, I don't know. They're so cool. Like we get to grow these out. You are too small. What are you doing? Are you going to go in my glove? I bet you will. Mmm. -hmm. Cod ones. I know. Do you remember how big Trippy was when I got him? Yeah. He was like five times the size. You know what? In those months that went by, that's probably how fast he built. He grows. Oh, I know. Fast. So I just wanted to end this video with a little bit of an update on how they are doing because I actually filmed this a couple weeks ago as of posting and they've kind of like grown a lot. So in these first few clips, you're gonna see how I ended up setting up their enclosure. I found like this perfect shallow water dish from I think it was like Pet Supplies Plus or something and then I put a rack in the middle. I added a little bit of moss just to make it look prettier and they've actually been hiding in it quite a lot so I think it works out. Also check this out. So in this clip I filmed them just as I set up their enclosure. I think this was the first day I unboxed them that I like finished it up and I didn't really film that process but like here they are. They're pretty small. They're a little skinny. Now it's been a couple weeks and here they are when I first got them and I want you to compare it to what they look like now. So I was out of town, I had a pet sitter who fed them generously and I've been feeding them pretty generously too and look at this difference. Let me know if you think they grew. I really feel like they've already grown quite a bit. They're both very fat. I've been feeding them well. My pet sitter fed them extremely well when we were in Florida. She knows what she's doing. She did a great job. Shout out to Jennifer. I've been really adamant about their supplements, their vitamins and everything because I really want them to grow up strong and healthy and I feel like that's something that I could definitely improve on on my frog hair is just trying different like vitamins and stuff like that. So as you can see, I think it's working and I think they are looking extremely healthy. So knock on wood that they continue to grow and do well with me and let me know what you guys think down below. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you, you want, want to be. be. That was uh, awful. That was terrible. And you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that is probably way too much is at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And yeah.